here's the assembly video I promised for the advanced chassis system. Basically this is more of a slideshow than anything and uh, this is what your chassis will look like when you're all done. Here's the race only, what we call the race only. Then here's the uh, race and flight for use with joysticks if you do flight sims and racing sims. Lots of guys do, myself included. The race and flight again. And here we go. You're going to need these tools. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, 532nd inch hex head wrench, a 716th SAE wrench, and a uh, number two Phillips. Here are the parts for the front and rear subframe. All the parts you need to build those two components or parts. This is a detail of the very front reinforcement brace that's uh, on the front subframe. Here are the screws. Here's the screws going in with the other brace. Notice that these long hourglass braces, are you get three of them, and then the rectangular one goes on the very front of the front subframe. Here's the rear subframe, a couple of parts there, screws and so forth. More screws and details. Use your number two Phillips to send those home. And the hourglass parts. Screw them in next. And that's what your nearly fully assembled rear subframe looks like. You'll add your seat deck next. Now keep in mind you'll get a dozen part bags that uh, have are numbered and correspond to a list of the parts for which they're intended for their uh, intended use. So bag number one goes to the front subframe, bag number two goes to the rear subframe, etc, etc. This is the seat deck and there's a parts bag for that only with the six screws you see here. And now we're going to do the frame connector. You'll get your parts bags. For that, your part bag. And just uh, put them all together like that. This is where you use your 7 16 wrench, your flathead screwdriver. These are lock washers, so you're going to have to use some elbow grease on that. And notice that you're going to use the washer on both sides of this screw on the outside of the head and on the inside backing up this nut. You're never going to have fasteners these kind of hex nuts go and t contact the wood directly not these uh, lock washers. Here are more parts for the left and right wings. Note here carefully how the washers go on these these bolts. You're going to put your lock washer on first and then your flat washer you don't have lock washers contact any time with, uh, with the actual part. You always back that up with a flat washer. There's another detail of the screw for that. And there they are. You're going to use the black screws to put into the hourglass shapes and the hex head screws to put into to attach this, uh, the wings to the seat deck. Now that's if you're on the race and flight. If you're on the race only, you'll move on and I'll tell you when when we get to that slide. That's where you move on if you're on race only. You skip the wings and you're going to go straight to your left and right frames, your vertical frames for the front and your pedal deck. Here are some more part another detail of the of the frames for the front and uh, how you use your thumb screws and uh, your thumb nuts and the parts for those. You see the pedal deck fasteners over here on the right. And here's a detail of them going in. Your pedal deck, first when you put up, put your left and right vertical front frame down, you put your pedal deck down and then you 
put your pedal deck screws in. This is a big mouthful, huh? And then you come through with your thumb screw and your thumb nut and slide them through and attach them to the lower part of the frame. This way so your wheel or your front wheel assembly can slide back and back and forth. And there's a detail of the screw that's used. You're going to need a flathead screw and then notice that you're going to put a lock washer and then the flat washer. Now we'll go back here and then your thumb nut over here goes over this little screw picking, uh, poking out. And then when you tighten it all, it'll all be nice and snug and won't move around. And there you go again. And the thumb screw, the long one with the actual screw sticking out of it, goes in this insert on the front frame. And then you can see here these other inserts on the pedal deck. And that's where your pedal deck screws go, is in the side of the pedal deck. And again, here are the tools you're going to need for that. Here's the lower grill and the upper wheel frame brace. And you uh, use the black screws to put them in, like that. And your wheel deck. Again, you're going to use thumb screws and the other screws to put that together. And that's how that goes. Pretty easy. Shifter platform here. You put it together like so. Make sure that the taper is going to the outside, the right side, obviously if you're in the United States. Now if you do have this mounted on the left side, you flip it over and you then go ahead and have the taper pointing out to the left. I don't see too many people doing that here in the United States, but there might be some folks that are uh, like that type of arrangement. And then the three threaded inserts that your shifter mount bolts go to, and there you go, on the inside of the right side frame. And then you see a detail, or you see that the upper frame brace, wheel frame brace is here, and that's screwed in with the black screws as well may help to have somebody help you do these things so you can hold the parts as you're, uh, as you're building them. Here are the left and right strakes and the parts that you need to build them or attach them to the frame. There's uh, the right side wing and the holes for which the black screws are intended and then the thumb screws as well. And they attach to the inside of the left and right vertical frame in the front. And this basically allows you to do a ton of adjustment. You can slide it back and forth and everything adjusts real nice. Once, you're, uh, once you get everything in there, and I recommend you put your thumb screws in there for the strakes to hold them in so they don't flop around. Then go ahead and start your screws. Don't send them, don't send them home one at a time, make sure you get them all in there and threaded first. It's The tolerances are very tight and it'll just make your assembly experience that much easier. And that should do it there. That's the, uh, the advanced chassis system and uh, that's what it should look like when you're done. And Thank you for your order, thank you for using the components and uh, I wish you the best. Always support at DerekSpearDesigns.com if you need some help. This should be pretty easy. It only takes about maybe under 20 minutes to put one of these together. And uh, let's say a half an hour at the most. It is really easy to put together. That's one of the ways we designed it. We don't want anybody having a lot of hassle. And we'd rather get you racing than building. So thanks again.